I was chatting with Dina Kimball from Royal Electric. She's the president and CEO there on a recent AGC of California webcast. And some of the things that we talked about really struck me in terms of how to lead through crisis. So I just thought I would summarize them briefly. Um, Dina was talking about what her main duty is as a leader. And three things struck me. One uh, is to eliminate fear. Secondly, is to keep uh, the, uh, the workforce working safely. And then the third thing was this interesting concept about pumping the brakes. And I'd like to cover each one of those in this short video. Number one, eliminating fear. Think about the people in your organization at the moment. And when there is a change in circumstance, such as we're going through with the COVID-19 crisis, it can create, obviously, in people a, um, a great sense of fear, particularly when there's a lot of unknowns. And so your job as a leader is to eliminate fear for people in your organization. And how can you do that? Well, it's by over-communicating. It's by communicating the truth um, as quickly and as succinctly as you can. Because think of people in your office. Um, what are they afraid of? They're afraid of two things. Number one, do I have a job? And number two, how am I being perceived? Because if you have smart people in the office, they understand that to one degree or another, they're overhead, right? Because they're not the ones who are making you the money. The guys and gals in the field are making you the money. And so you have to be very clear in communicating to them this, th where they are in terms of their job security. You don't want to lie to them. You don't want to sugarcoat it. You just have to be very clear where you are. If your company's strong, perhaps job security isn't an issue. If your company has some issues with cash flow, as many folks do, then you need to be able to communicate that clearly and honor their role in your organization. In terms of folks in the field, what are they concerned about? Well, they're concerned about their safety, particularly if you have jobs up and running still. They're, they're wanting to make sure that you really do care about safety and that you're implementing the safety requirements around the virus situation that are going to ensure that they can go about their job without a bunch of fear and anxiety on a daily basis. And that leads to the second thing, which was keeping people safe on the job site. And you just have to embrace it. You, you know it's true whether you know we had a crisis or not, but you as the leader have to show up with a complete commitment to the safety of folks in the field because that's where your money is being made on a daily basis. And the safety of people in the field is paramount to the success of your organization both now and in the future. And then the third thing which really struck me was this idea of pumping the brakes. Um, as a leader, it's very tempting to succumb to the pressure um, of the situation and make decisions that are hasty, particularly when information is changing and circumstances change because of that information, because of directives from the government and things like that. But what struck me about what Dina was sharing was that um, particularly when the, um, the work stoppage orders came in from various entities, she took a moment and instead of just shutting down job sites right away, she reached out to industry connections to get clarity on what was going on with the rules about who's working and who's not. And as a result of just taking that beat, it was just a few hours, she was able to pump the brakes on the decision-making process take an overnight um, approach to uh, the decisions that she had to make with her uh, project partners and with her leadership team, and then come back the next day and make a decision that was um, reflective of the reality, not the initial information that was just coming in. And you as a leader, you've got to be able to do that. You've got to be able to pump the brakes, not get overwhelmed by the flow of information, remain calm, and do whatever you can to get as much clarity as possible so that you can make a good, measured decision. So those are three things that I learned from the conversation that Dina was involved in, and I really appreciate that. So number one, eliminate fear. Number two, do everything that you can to keep your people working safely. And then third, pump the brakes and make sure that you're making calm, rational decisions with as much information as you can so that your company can be moving in the right direction and navigate through the tough times that we're facing. So my name is Eric Anderton. Hope you found this video helpful.